And we're back with some more RimWorld. And uh, yeah, we're in the midst of a, a mech raid. Now, I think they're going to be landing here and I'm going to make a few changes. One, I don't want to deal with this big blob in here. I think there's some going to land over here and maybe a few in here, but I don't want to deal with this massive blob straight away. I prefer to take out the smaller chunk first and then deal with this later. So we are going to close and lock this door with Matthew here. And then we're going to have Beaumont open these two doors and we'll open this door as well. That means all the mechs in here should try and go up here and around. That should buy us a little bit of time. Not a lot of time, but hopefully enough. Uh, let's unpause the sucker and see what happens. Oh God, yeah, how many, how many, how many, how many? Oh, did I also mention that I'm getting a few people to uh, move those doomsdays? I didn't want those doomsdays in the way. That felt like um, a bad idea. Oh, you know what, Rachel? I'm gonna have you, you know what? That's only 22 drop pods. That seems... Hmm. Hmm. I like to think I'm an optimistic person, but there's no way that's Scythers. Just, just no way. 22? Not at the difficulty level we're at. We're at... What do we got in here? Mods. Air. Unlimited threat scaling. We're at triple normal threat cap. Okay, we'll put it up to 3.5. Why not? Yeah. But I'm guessing every single one of these is a centipede. It's got to be. So we're going to swamp them. We're going to put people in as close as possible to them. I've got this entire group seven coming in. Uh, we've also got a group six that is going to be down here. We might want to bunch them up a bit closer. We'll find out when these pods start to open. Matthew, what, get, what are you doing there? Yep. Get out of there, you silly billy. Okay. No, no, you muppet. You're going to get yourself killed. Uh, I should lock some doors, shouldn't I? Doors locked. We'll get Scott out of there in a second. Scott, run. Run, run. Oh, God. Uh, oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, that was... Um... Oh, I'm so sorry, Scott. That was my bad. Uh, you don't have any gear in you that can help, do you? No, you got a shield belt. That's going to last about a half a second. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, shield belt is completely gone already. Wow. Um... Sorry. I am really sorry, Scott. We might be able to save you, but it, I, I doubt it. They're going to keep firing at you, and, and you're also on fire, so you're probably doomed. Uh, we also have a squad over here. How are we going to deal with this? We might just have to swamp them. It might be the only way. I've got someone coming over with EMP grenades, but that's going to be a, a minute or two. I think, I think we got... Well, we at least got these ones out here. There's one, two, three, four, five. So five of the 22 are over there. Guys, guys, uh, maybe... You know what, we'll make sure everyone's not on fire, uh, everything. If we put everyone on flee, they'll stop trying to shoot through the backs of everyone. That's how people end up dead when they do that. All right. Good job. Uh, Scott, we'll try and rescue you in a minute once those centipedes stop staring at you angrily. I mean, they look really angry. Eh, th Theory-wise, they should go up here, through there, and out that door. We're going to let them start wandering that way, and in the meantime, we're going to take care of these centipedes, which... Almost done, actually. That was surprisingly quick. There's, okay, there's two left. One left. And... Come on. Are we done? Perfect. Can we rescue them? Six hours left. Ooh. Ken, would you like to take the risk for the team? Yeah, I, I think Ken's going to do it. If Ken goes down, though, that that's what we're done. Okay, we will leave the door open for now. Let's see how long it takes before they turn around and start deciding to murder them. Oh, it's pretty much immediate. Uh, lock that door. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, that's fine. Done. All right, uh, I'll just leave someone right there standing beside it because... Oh, man. Well, there goes the plasma sword. I'm not going in for the plasma sword. All right, let's get the teams ready. I think we're just going to rush them from all sides and swamp them. We do have one, two... We have four entry points we could go through. Hmm. Let me come up with a plan. Simple enough plan, we are going to stun one of them. Well, not stun one of them, we're going to drive one of them crazy, and after they have been driven crazy, they should start shooting at each other. That will allow us to burst into the room, gain a foothold, and then swamp them and kill them. Well, that's the theory. Perfect. Zap that one right now. Boop. Nice. Then we just pull back out of the way. I said pull back out of the... There we go, door's closed. All right, uh, with that one driven insane, they should all turn around to start fighting it, and then we can rush in while they're busy doing that and hopefully attack them from multiple sides, swamp them in people, and riddle them full of bullets. Some pawns decided to take this opportunity to run into the room, which is not a good idea. Oh, well, that's Cory gone. Sorry, Cory. 
Uh, you're on fire now, so... Dear Lord, there's just no way they can survive in that room for more than half a second. I love the way they decided to target our pawns instead of the, the berserk one. Oh god, how long is that one going to survive in there even? Hmm. Yeah, this is this has been ham-fisted enough. You know what? Let's break open a wall and start killing. Plan is very simple. We're going to shoot this wall segment o open, have Kades run in and deploy her shield. Well, she wants to get as deep as she can. Okay, perfect. Now, we want to make this zone off-limits so that people don't go in here and try putting out fires. So we run Katie's in here as quickly as we can. Start gaining ground. Okay, that's perfect. Everyone else... Oh, Actually, we'll keep her... Keep that at a tight angle. We want to get her pretty close. And then... That's perfect. Deploy. Where are you going? I removed that from the zone. I hate this. There's going to be a bunch of them that come in. But you know what? It's fine. We're going to grab everyone here. And you're all going to come in here. After queuing up a lot of move commands, we should have a stream of people coming in here to help out. Yep, that's working. Okay, and thank God there's no roof on this place. There is no roof yet. Uh, yes, definitely. There is no roof on this place, so we won't get incinerated. That was one of my fears. And you know what? Now that that's done, who else has got medical skills? We're going to get Tia here to rescue Corey. They've got good medical skills, so the moment they rescue them, they should immediately start tending to them. Ow, did you get hit? I think you are... Yeah, maybe you are not on the... Yeah, go right there. Maybe that's a better location. Dear Lord, the amount of bullets are getting being fired at this team. Okay, now I think it's time we did a bit of focus fire. Except for the EMP Grenadier, because I don't know what will happen if that EMP Grenadier fires a grenade from inside the shield. Uh, kill that, please. And what are you doing? Yeah, you're watching for targets. Yeah, we'll let you watch. That is fine. I don't think our shield is going to last very long, though. What do we got? 18.4 seconds. It's enough to kill a few of them. Maybe we should bring in another crowd from the other side. The issue we face is just, there's too many of them too spread out, and we can't get enough focus on them. And you notice they've stopped targeting the berserk one, which is annoying. Uh, I think we just have to kill as many as we can while the shield is up, and then either pop another shield and hopscotch forward. Uh, yeah, I really don't want to waste more shields. We've only got about 11 or 12 left, and there's still several days left to go on the engine activation. 14 seconds left. Come on, kill a few more. We do have someone up front. Kevin there has got a, another shield that they can pop if we need to. Dear lord, the amount of damage we're doing, though. We are actually chewing through, through them quite quickly. I suppose when you have enough pawns, you can do enough damage. We're down to 13 centipedes. Time to send in the brute squad. Uh, you're going to run in that direction. We're going to have a second team come in from this direction. We want to swamp them quick as we can. We're going to keep firing, but if we can get a few extra people in on this... Come on, come on. Yeah... We just want to make sure that those incendiary people don't get anything off. The incendiary is the thing that scares me. Oh, God. Well. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, that's, um, that's six people who are about to get incinerated. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Just ran right ahead of that one. Okay. Uh, you. Who? Dare we move forward? Actually, I'm going to need some focus fire from a bunch of you. I want that last Inferno one there down. There's two more Inferno ones up there, and if they get off shots, it will be bad. But, come on. How much we got left on that shield? Oh my god. 3.2 seconds. 3.2 seconds. And then we're going to have to start actually soaking hits. Okay, that's another Inferno one down. That one over there. Jay, Jay Roop, what are you doing? Stop being on fire. You're getting in the way of everything. Uh, we'll uh, unblock the doors anyway so people can get through. 1.9 seconds left on that shield pop. Okay. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Do we dare go no- Kevin! Damn it, Kevin was the one who was supposed to pop the shield. Well... I think it's time we spread out then. Oh, and you. You can... Oh god, we can't even get near that one, can we? You know what? Start charging that direction. All of you. Uh, you. Engage. All right, I've got a few people headed towards the Inferno ones to try and slow them down, and the rest of this team are going to try and spread out so that hopefully the damage done to them is more minimal. But, yeah, I'm not... Oh, God. Okay, that was actually a lucky shot right there. It didn't hit anyone uh, important. Okay, spread out. Limit the damage they can do. Oh, my God. Uh, you. Smack that with your hammer. Okay. Good, good. Decoth. Stop being on fire. Annoy, annoy, annoy actually made it all the way to their target centipede. That is wonderful. This one, though, still worries me. Uh, Darth, what are you doing, buddy? Uh, get in there and grab that one. In fact... Oh, wow. There's only that many left. I think... 
I think we pivot the whole team over there. All right, whole team, move. Some of you will get burned, shot, stabbed, shot in the back. There, there's, there's going to be complications, I understand. Okay. Ow! Yeah, that hurt. Hey, Dikoth, I need you to engage that one. Rest of you, I actually want you to shoot that one. If we can shoot that one and stop it, that will be the last Inferno one that's free. And then we can kill the rest of them. Jason, what are you doing? Uh, you know, this is why we gave them all... Ah, oh, excellent. Stunned. You're good. That crowd back there are getting involved. I think... I think we've got the last of them. Has anyone died yet? Dear Lord. Okay. That, um... That went far better than I expected. Okay, a few people got horrifically injured. Some people have been shot in the back a whole bunch of times. Because of the size of that bath bubble, Kevin got shot so many times by their own people. Desky, how you doing? Yeah, a lot of friendly injuries going on there as well. Oops. Uh, time to put out the fires and maybe heal up some people. Hopefully, we don't get many more attacks like that in the next five seconds. Jesus, just give us just give us a few minutes to repair. We still haven't repaired from all the damage from the last drop over here. There's still corpses all over the corridors. And our mortar barrage is looking uh, very incomplete. Also, people's bedrooms as well. You know, give us a break for like just half a day, Randy. Half a day is all we ask. Well, my game's been frozen now for a good 30 seconds. Uh, I don't think it's broken. I think it's just uh, Randy is trying to generate a raid. Let's see how long it takes him. The raid has arrived. And considering how we've got it set up, that seems like it's a pretty big one. <laughs> how, many, how many relations? Emily's exes have shown up and they realize things are serious. Dear Lord, they don't even show up on the screen. I can't even tell what type of raid it is from this. Uh, let's have a look. Approaching from multiple angles, they were pre prepare for a while and then attack. Okay, so it's not sappers. We're good. There are people who have relationships which are colonists or prisoners in the arriving. Dear Lord. Okay, mother of one colonist, ex-lover, father, father, grandmother, brother, grandfather, mother, <laughs> father. Mother, mother, uncle, uncle, grandmother, grandfather, father, grandmother, grandmother, father-in-law. <laughs> mother of colonist, mother-in-law, great-grandmother, grandfather, grandfather, niece, daughter, mother, gr grand-uncle? Okay, that's a new... Grand-uncle, ex-lover, father... <laughs> oh, come on, I'm not even reading... Right, that is, um... Let's just jump to the location, shall we? We have... A little bit over 200. 200 and change. Do they have doomsdays? Yes, they do. do they? Yep, yep, yep. They've got doomsdays. And they've got triple rockets. That's going to be interesting. Over here, we've got... Oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... About seven or eight doomsdays? That's a lot of doomsdays. Hmm. Okay, but this is, they're going to prepare for a while. If they're going to prepare for a while, I say we mortar one and doomsday the other. Hmm. There's been some recommendations to use some Imperial Guard tactics, and I'm thinking that's what we're going to do for these. Hold on a moment. We are ready to rock. We have two Doomsdays ready to go, and this crowd here seems to have bunched up. This looks to be where they're hanging around. Oh, you can ignore this over here. This was uh, one of our friendlies, traders or something. There was uh, three or four people wandering through. They, they were not friendly with the uh, Emily's exes. This crowd over here has not stopped moving, though. Plan. We are going to get Alex here. They are going to invisibilize Stephen. Stephen. Your sacrifice will be appreciated. We load Stephen up into the transport pod. They are safely aboard. And now we launch them. And we're going to launch them over here. And we're going to take some advice for the comments and make sure that we don't miss. We're going to land a little bit closer than we normally would. There we go. Let's make sure that launches immediately. There you go. Perfect. Now we get to see if this works. This is, of course, a slightly risky maneuver. And by slightly, I mean, OK, uh, you may not come back alive. And we need to time this. We need to be really tight on the timings on this. If we mess this up by even a second or two, they might become uh, visible before they get to fire the shot. At which point, come on. There you go. Perfect. Now, nope, nope, nope. I want you to fire the Doomsday, yeah, there, right there. Yeah, I think there is good. In fact, let's, can we target the ground? All right, ground targeted and fire. Nope, seriously, come on, are you doing it? Oh no, 
they did their melee animation, which slowed down. Oh, God. No. Fire it. Fire it. Fire it. For Emily. That was beautiful. <laughs> Holy Christ. God damn, Steven. There was no messing about right there. Okay, you took a few bruises. Y you lost your hand to the doomsday rocket that you fired. You just sat there and ate it. For Emily. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see if they've got any stuff worth taking. In fact, we're going to repeat the procedure over here with this crowd. If we can get this similar, they've got how many doomsdays? Like, this is actually a doomsday positive process. Uh, they've got loads of doomsdays. They've got bunches of shield poppers. This is a resource bonus for us, though. Okay, it's on fire. I better run some people over here real quick. Actually, I think I'm going to let Steven stand there for a minute while they all walk away. I want to find the ones that have shield poppers on them. But, dear lord, trying to find the low shield packs on all the bodies is almost impossible. There's just You literally have to scroll through all of them. They don't drop the low shield packs automatically. And normally what I do is I just go through the number section and go through corpses. So you can just list all the corpses. But we've got like 900 and something corpses and I don't even know if they're in this pile or not. It's just, no, it's too much effort. Uh, I'll, I'll come back and look at this in a minute. In the time, for the time being, I think this crowd have stopped. So it's time for another doom drop. For this one, we're going to try to land right about there. Okay, you... Oh. And while we're at it, I'm going to actually replace some of those. These, uh, these doom drops have been very, very useful to us so far. Hey, where are you all going? Steven's right here, guys. C come on. Oh, 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 I should probably put that out before it explodes and uh, damages something else. You, quick, quick, quick. That's kind of the problem. Some of these are going to explode if we're not careful. Put that out. Okay, beautiful. And then I'm going to want you to grab that doomsday over there. If you grab that doomsday, uh, prioritize hauling that one. You bring that back to base and we will have actually drawn even on this entire thing. Okay, you've got some injuries, but, you know, you, you did what you had to do. Hey, what are you doing? You're broken. Go away. Leave Steven alone. He's busy. <laughs> also, you'll be bleeding out in 10 hours. How many people did they kill? Okay, there's 86 corpses. There's no way they killed that many. What's their records at? 68 human kills. That's, um... Yeah, that's that's pretty evil. Oh, damn it. You see, the problem is the moment we select them, they're going to try and perform a melee attack. And if they do, well, that's going to slow them down on their invisibility. Uh, oh, actually, they should be set to flee. So they should immediately start fleeing away. If they flee far enough away, that yes, there is perfect. Nice. Okay, right in the middle. We don't care if we take it. Well, honestly, it's going to run into one of them before. It's going to clip one of the enemies and go off early and probably hurt Andy. But Andy doesn't care. Because this, this is for Emily. I would like to point out, this is not slow motion. This is just the game. Oh, God! Yep. Yeah, I think we got him. There may have been a few secondary explosions in there. Dear Lord, there's seven triple rocket launchers on the ground. How many? Four doomsdays? Right. This. Oh, my God. Good job, Andy. Your sacrifice will not have been in vain. We will replace your big toe at some point. <laughs> okay, i got to send some people over here to do rescue missions. Okay, that is the fastest I've ever dealt with 400 raiders. Uh, what's our enemies like looking at right now? Uh, enemies down to 71. I think we had over 400 or 500 a, minute, a few minutes ago. Now they're all gone. Nice. Doom drops. It's the only way to rock. This section over here was probably our most successful. We got six low shield packs over here. That's going to really help out in our defenses. At the same time, we got, well, three doomsdays. One of these is biocoded. This one's biocoded. We'll take the other three. There's a load of triple rocket launchers, but I don't have a use for them, to be honest. So we're just going to leave them there. Uh, other section over here, we got one doomsday and one low shield pack. I'm going to call that a really, really good win. Andy, on the other hand, yeah, this is this is pretty, it's still pretty touch and go. We had to emergency stop them here for medical treatment because there, were, there was no way they were going to make it all the way back to the hospital. They had two hours left and they were down here. Hospital's way over there. Our base is just way too big. The only way I could get them into this medical bed was I had to seal off all the doors to prevent the 
the pawn that was carrying them from going anywhere and then just make a medical bed for them. We'll emergency tend them here and then move them to the hospital afterwards for the recovery period. And who's in a fire starting spree? You know what? I don't think anyone's going to notice. The base is in absolute shambles. There is, well, not absolute shambles, but it's definitely uh, could use some... Look that bedroom in there. No one really wants to stay in that bedroom at the moment for some reason. I don't know why. It might be the corpses or maybe it's just the lack of a bed. All right, let's see what else Randy's got in store for us today. And it looks like our colonists are set, gathering to celebrate a wedding. 107 Ghostpedia and 101 Eric Sh Shavon... Um, I'm, I'm not pronouncing any more names. God damn it. Guys, this is never going to work. Plus, Emily's just going to get unhappy standing around here. Ooh, no, we can keep her... Yeah, her mood will be high enough. Probably. Plus, once someone starts playing the piano or their harpsichord, it'll be all good. It's going to take the whole day just for the poems to get her. There's like 74 of them already in there. The place is going to end up filthy. Mm. Bit of a trick I just discovered. Set a couple of pawns to clean the room. So I've got two pawns cleaning the room right now and they're seeming to keep the... Uh, yeah, they're keeping it nice and clean so that the whole marriage ceremony should hopefully not be a complete disaster. Let's hope it all works out. I would like a little bit of a marriage boost right about now to everyone's mood. Marriage ceremony has begun. Nice, how many people are in here? 126? Hell yeah, I'll take that. Emily stops to have a snack in the middle of it all. She does not seem impressed. <laughs> oh, Emily's done. What? Just because they're not chasing you anymore? Don't worry, both of them still want you. It's just, you know, they also want each other as well at the same time. No need to be jealous. Well, that's that. Perfect. I should probably keep an eye on Emily. Her mood has dropped quite a bit. We need to get her back in range of those mood beacons. If she doesn't get back in range of the meat beacons soon, she might actually become unhappy. And that would fail us the quest. One moment. Oh, psychic harmonizers to the rescue. It doesn't help that we immediately killed her wife the first moment she arrived. Well, her ex-wife, whatever. Well, they're their ex-wife now, one way or another. Well, the game is pausing again for an ominously long period of time. I'm really curious to see what the next thing Randy's got in store for us today, especially considering the difficulty spike. Well, this looks easy peasy, it's just a siege. It's a siege from Emily's exes again. And they're all snipers. Every single last one of them appears to be just snipers. About 293 snipers, to be honest. That's like... That's a few snipers. Uh, tell you what... I say, well, I was going to doom drop them, but they haven't actually got anything worthwhile. They don't even have shield packs. They have nothing. I think we just hit them with a few mortars and then convince them to go into our kill box. I mean, if they go into our kill box, we'll just slaughter them. And maybe another raid shows up in the meantime and they fight that raid. I mean, it could happen. We are locked and ready to rock. They're bunched up like crazy. I think it's because they haven't received their drop pods yet. The reason they haven't got their drop pods yet is because these people are injured. Some of the pawns have not caught up. So until they catch up with the rest of the blob, they won't get their drop pods full of resources for building their siege. That means we've got time to slap them with a big mortar barrage. And the reason these pawns are injured is doomsday burns. Turns out the doomsdays that hit the last crowd, the ones that survived, some of them have come back immediately. They, they literally didn't even pause. Like, no, no, you know what? We're going to go back same day and get even more beaten up. Well, that's the plan. Oh, and... Yeah, there comes the mortar barrage. Let's see how this works. This is only one set. There's actually two of them that weren't loaded, but I want to hit them as fast as possible to see if we can't get them moving. And... Oh! 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 Yeah. Yeah. I think we got a few of them. Dear Lord. Was one of those an EMP? How do we have EMPs in there? I'm pretty sure I stuck those not to be fired. Still got 200 humans left. Wow, there was 290 of them and we only killed 80 with that? Uh, okay, load them up again. I'm going to double check to make sure none of you are using EMPs. Yeah, I had two of them set to EMP because yeah, because of something that happened before. Never mind. Oh man, I, s I can't believe they haven't actually decided to attack yet. I mean, how many times do I have to hit you before you decide it's a good time to start moving? Jesus, there's still over 200 of them left. Before we can even think about getting off a second volley, well, we're going to have to deal with the next raid. This one is tribes people. In fact, let, let's just have a quick check of all the relations we've got here. Yeah, I'm not even reading those out. There's, there's not as many as there was in the last one, but that's definitely a lot of relationships. We're going to close that one. Then we've got this Greybush Union one. Yeah, there's a whole bunch more relationships. Not nearly as bad, though. 
No, oh, CM Dark. Seriously, I'm going to have to check on CM Dark. They must be really depressed about the relatives of theirs they've killed. It's the only one I'm really recognising there a lot of. Actually, Nixon's zombie pops as well. But long story short, this is a sapper raid. We're going to have to doom strike him. Invisible Doomsday is probably our best bet. Is there anyone headed this way? I don't think there's anyone who's going to go outside the walls that section. Yeah, Doomsday Strike it is. Uh, where were we? We have pawn, a pawn ready to go over here. Yep, yeah, Beaumont there. They're, they're life for Emily. Okay, Joel is going to come up and invisibilize them. Actually, you know what? You can have them stand there. Joel can stand there. That should be plenty of room. Now, once we get a, a bead on where they're going, as in a rough direction, I think... Yeah, they're heading down here. So you know what? We will jump jet our person in there and then just fire a doomsday into the middle. You're not going to survive this. I'm sorry, but there's just... It's highly unlikely that you're going to get out of this, Beaumont. Uh, just the way the cookie crumbles, I'm afraid. Time to hop in. Now, where are we going to land you? Mm, I think they're heading this direction, so... We're going to put them right here. We don't want them touching. If they're touching the enemy, then they'll start their melee attack, which we would prefer them not to... Oh, God. Might have wanted to wait a minute or two more. They're going to be right in the middle. Ooh, this could be tricky. You can actually see the drop pod going up and hitting the sky. Once it hits the corner, it'll start coming down again. Here it comes. Come on, come on, come on. Where are you landing? Come on. That, that's actually a good spot. You're not going to be able to kill them all, but you should be able to do some horrific damage to them. All right, let's see where you pop out. Come on. We've got to fire this shot immediately, of course. Otherwise, that could be an issue. Draft you up. Take you off fire at will. Eh, there looks good. Yeah, I think they're all sort of bunching down this way. So right about there. Grand shot. I'm thinking grand targeting. That whole blob seems to be just moving into it. Come on. Hit him. Hit him hard. Problem is, will it actually go all the way through all of them or will it impact before then? Oh god, there's a huge blob there. Maybe we should have went that direction. Nope, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. For Emily. Yep. Yep. I think we got a couple. We may got a couple more than a couple. Yeah, game doesn't like that. Game really does not like that. Oh my god. Uh you're going to probably want to run. Unfortunately, you're not going to live, but maybe if we get you far enough away, like the arrows won't kill you entirely. Jesus. How many of them? Oh, they're fleeing. God damn, Beaumont. Hell of a shot, buddy. I really thought you were a dead man. There's, there's still hundreds of them left. Literally hundreds of them. Uh, let's check enemies. 504 enemies. I think you just wiped out about 101 hit. What's your kill counter looking at? Like 140 human kills. Oh god. You're you're a I don't know, you're a mass murderer. That's like I, I can't even comprehend the level of murderage that is. Uh good good job. Congratulations. Emily will, uh, Emily will be very proud. V very proud indeed. Um yeah, good luck and go home. Next up over here, we've got this crowd, and their drop pod seems to be landing. You know what that means? I think we... Oh, come on. Udramak is actually unhappy. Why is that? Oh, I think we killed her mother. Uh, or their grandparents. Or we killed one of their relatives anyway. Oh, my God. Yeah, everyone's lost a few relatives in the last while. Okay, let's land that right. You know what? We have to put it out here, otherwise we'll smash into our walls. Put that right there. Take that off, fire it. We'll, and uh, we'll go check out the mortars in a minute once we get Beaumont home. Oh... This is going to be a juicy hit. It's got to be. Ugh, there's more than 200 here, so we can't tell. Let's just have a quick look at the number section. We've got 342, but a whole bunch of them are about to leave the map. We'll just leave it where it is and see what happens. Impact! All right. That was not as impactful as I was hoping for. But I think so we got some secondary explosions from a few of the triple rocket launchers scattered around. And there's down to 183 of them. Gonna call it a win. Yeah, we broke two attacks incredibly quickly. Okay, let's go back home and celebrate. Well, we've got the people under the mortars. We might as well try doing a little bit of uh, predictive aiming. So how about we set a force target of, oh, 
I say about there. See if we can't do some damage. I mean, they'll miss by a bit, but they'll still hit something. This would be much better if we had all our mortars manned, but I'm not really that bothered. This is just a bunch of snipers, so it's not really a big deal to mortar them into oblivion. Ah, the fresh bloom of mortars in the morning. Now to see if all of our planning played off, paid off in drawing all these lines. Yeah, we've missed our walls. Oh. It's not perfect, but we hit a few of them. I'm pretty sure this sniper assault is going to fail miserably. So many of them are about to bleed out in a certain period of time. Uh, for example, let's grab one. You, bleeding out in 13 hours. Uh, you, oh, damn it, two conditions need tending. One condition, four, bleeding out in 13 hours, bleeding out in five hours. Ble <laughs> There's a whole bunch of these that are going to bleed out before they get to the kill box, so I think enough of them are going to get downed that they'll just give up. I can live with that. In fact, the ones out front are even are bleeding out. Oh, where are we? Yeah, these ones over here. Barry there, how you doing? Nine hours until you bleed out. Still got... Like, look at the pep in their step. That go juice is a hell of a drug. It's just... They're still moving at 127% despite having their, a bite scare on their leg and massive blood loss. It's just the go juice is like, yep, go, 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 go. All right, we'll see if any of them make it to the kill box, but I really doubt it. Barry here is only five hours away... From, well, five hours from bleeding out. And they're almost in the kill box. They're just on their way in. I think they might actually make it just before they pass out in time to get shot. But the game's hung, which means another raid could show up. And if it shows up anywhere near the uh, the ones in the the map edge, near the map edge where we have those uh, other enemies, they'll probably just start fighting each other. And considering how badly damaged all this sniper attack is, I'm pretty sure they'll break instantly. So, yeah, these ones eventually made it into the kill box. They're quite resilient. You gotta give it to them. How? How much go juice are you on? Seriously? You've taken so many hits. How do you have anything left? Most of your body should have been just ablated away by the sheer quantity of bullets heading your direction. Like, respect. There was no way you were going down any other way than death. I mean, I just can't imagine a scenario where that you just you fell over for anything but a massive total body failure. Uh, over here, we've got another raid showing up. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty big raid as well. They're besieging the colony and they've got... Oh my god, how many of them are related? You know what? Oh my god, kin of Stellark Emily? How are you... How are you the kin of Emily? What are you... And you're one of Emily's... Oh my god, Emily, the things you get up to. So, to deal with this, uh, we've come up with a plan. Is it a good plan? No. Is it a fun plan? More importantly, yes. We're going to double doom them. That's right. We're going to double doomsday drop them just to see how much damage we can do. Uh, invisibilize. Begin. And invisibilize the second one when you're done. Okay, Douglas, get into your pod. We, of course, immediately have to launch Douglas. We can't leave them there uh, because their invisibility would wear off too soon. Uh, they seem to be bunching up over here. We'll... Yeah, there's fine. Land them close, but not too close. We don't want them actually touching, because if they're touching, then uh, they might actually start a melee attack the moment they land. I'm going to try and uh, stop them from doing that by maybe setting them to hold fire. Okay, perfect. And the second one can be launched on... I do that every time. I keep hitting it and then scrolling up to go to the corner, but I keep forgetting I'm on the world map. But you on the other side. Don't want you two interfering with each other. Boom. Uh, we'll let them head that direction. And how are we looking in the center? Yeah, no, just looking at... Seriously, how are you still alive? I suppose it just feels weird for me because... Oh, they're, they're broken, finally. It's just, they're so slow at shooting. These people should be dead an awful lot quicker. You, you keep forgetting that they're on Gojuice and they're actually going at speed. Oh, you're not breaking that door, buddy. Yeah, no one's breaking that door. All right, let's open this all back up and see how it happens over here. Here comes the team. Nice. Oh, there's boomalopes in there. Oh, this is just going to make this even better. Okay, you should open first, or should you? Actually, I'm not even sure. Come on, which one of you is going to start it off? Oh, Hobbs. All right, Hobbs. Yeah, I'm thinking right there seems like a good spot. All right, Jason. Jason Bourne's cousin, who's not nearly as deadly. But maybe today. Maybe today. Oh, let's check the numbers. What are we looking at? In terms of enemies, we have 434 on the map. I don't know how many are in this particular spot. 
But let's say about mm, 340. The rest are all fleeing off the edge of the map right now. And oh, there comes their supplies. No, no, don't spread out. You're all perfectly bunched. You're going to cause so much lag when you explode. Just so much. And... For Emily. Oh! Edge explosion. Sorry, Douglas. You just, you just ate that one. That's not good for you. Ow. Ow. Yeah, pirates are attacking. I wonder why. Yeah, I think Douglas is down. Don't worry, we've got a backup plan. Yeah, immediate intersection right there. Okay. Uh, game not liking any of this. How have they not broken already? Jesus. Is there some secondary explosions? I think there may have been a couple of secondary explosions. Jason, no! You're just on the edge, just to the edge. Oh. Uh, okay. There's some hissing noises. I think I know what's causing the hissing noise. It's that doomsday launcher. And it's that triple rocket launcher. In fact, there is five triple rocket launchers lying on the ground around here, which is seems a tad dangerous. But what's even more dangerous is the 14 doomsdays lying about the place. Oh, that's going to be bad. That doomsday is about to pop right there. That one's already on... F I... Yeah, let's just watch. All right. That went... About as well as can be expected. Jason, yeah, you're probably dead, buddy. I cannot believe they did not break. They got hit so hard. There's 135 of them left. Oh my god, how many doomsdays did they carry? There's still three doomsdays. I, I count the doomsdays by counting the rings, you can see. So it's not like there's a, a way to count them otherwise. But jeez, they've still got three doomsdays. And there was 14 on the ground. How many doomsdays is left now? Ten. Well, Jason, run. 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 I'm pretty sure you're going to get hit by a doomsday or a triple. There, I'm... Oh, yeah, they definitely have triples left, don't they? Oh, you're not going to make it. Two of them have already stopped. I doubt you're going to make it clear. Run, run, run. Did you... You don't have anything else we can use, do you? Smoke belt. I really should give people smoke belts before they go on these suicide missions. But seriously? We double doomed. How did they not all die? I have a bad idea. It, it, it's, it's not good. Uh, the thing is, most of the people chasing us are slower than our pawn. This pawn, Jason actually has... A bionic leg. So they can run at 5.02. Problem is, some of the ones back here, yeah, 7.02, some of them actually have go juice in them. But you know what? We have go juice too. So let's see if we can consume go juice. And how long does it take? Okay, okay. That's actually pretty fast. Boom! Boom, baby! Let's run! Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it! Yeah, you're on go juice. Why is your why is your move? Oh, there we go. Move speed is actually picked up to seven point two six. Right, we are going to run you to over there and then bring you inside. I think. Yeah, none of them are going to catch you. You are free and clear. Uh, Douglas Hobbs. I'm pretty sure you're going to get kidnapped, buddy. I can't really see a way where we can get it and save you without having to tangle with a whole bunch of angry pirates who have, you know, doomsday weaponry. But Jason. Yeah, I think Jason's free and clear. Good stuff. All right, let's prepare for their attack. They should go into our kill box now. Jason managed to make it away. He made it all the way around. Uh, we've closed double doors behind us, so even if they start smashing the doors, they should just, you know, stop. Um, Actually, over here, we can open that door. I, I like to have two doors so that we've got uh, redundancy if anything goes wrong, and then we'll bring them back over... Actually, we'll bring Jason right back over here. If they can get close to Douglas, maybe they can nip out and grab them. I mean, they are currently our fastest pawn, and thankfully they're not addicted to go juice. All right, all right. Looking good, looking good. How many days we got left on that engine? 3.8, hell yeah. To prepare for their arrival, we're going to uh, turn the oven on. Might as well. I mean, if we're going to have guests over, we might as well cook for them. Uh, it's going to take them a while to get through, but we should be able to at least slow them down, worst case scenario. Plus, a bunch of them have shield belts and really annoying technology I'd rather not deal with. Uh, you get back to there, equip that heavy machine gun, and yeah, one of our doors got busted here. I think it was the last crowd that was through. Uh, once everyone's finished, we'll get them into position, and I think we can run a rescue mission out here for Douglas. The closest person is Smelly here, who's moving really slowly. In fact, all these ones at the rear are really slow. I say we grab Jason here, and we go rescue. In fact, we can leave this door open for them. And hopefully they don't try and do something stupid, like go through a door down here or over here. 
Well, we'll find out in a minute, won't we? Would you look at that? Jason's going to take the decent route home. Perfect. Okay. Okay, if that works out, then it should be a, a pretty much a doddle to slaughter all of these coming into the kill box. Uh, there's still a few doomsdays left, some uh, shield poppers and stuff like that, but we can always just get some EMP grenades in, and, well, they're going to be feeling a little bit hot and sweaty when they get to the other side. should be a pretty quick kill. Wait, what? Why are they fleeing? Oh, I think enough of them got injured and died that they just sort of gave up and decided to go home. Well, that's, uh... Good for us, I suppose. In that case, I can leave that door open, that door closed, and we can go over here, and we have... Ten doomsday rockets. I gotta check to make sure that, you know, they're all not bio-coded or anything, and I still have to go through and see if they've got any, um... Shield pops. Give me a minute. This has been a hell of a haul. We've actually got four... Five shield packs. There's a fifth one about to be stripped out, and nine doomsdays. This was... Yeah, it cost us two, two doomsdays to get all of that. Oh, and there's a whole bunch of uh, Happy Meals here as well. So, yeah, I'm going to call this a win-win. Anyway, let's uh, let's check and see what Randy has next. Oh, wait. I I forgot. I completely blanked. Yeah, we got to change the... the uh, uh, where is it? Threat scaling. Was it one I missed or two? Eh, let's just pretend it was two. One way or the other. And it's time for Randy's ne next gift to us. And it's a mech hive. They're dropping right on top of us and... Yeah, I, I, I was looking around for ages trying to figure out where it was going from until I, I realized it was over here. They have never dropped here before. They've dropped inside the kill box, they've dropped inside our fields, but they've never dropped where part of them are going to land in here and part of them are going to land out there. This part out here, that's okay. They'll get sucked into the kill box and killed. Uh, Zogden, you may die. Hopefully you get far enough ahead of them, but if this is what I think it is... Oh, maybe. I, I think this might be Scythers. I doubt it's going to be a mass of uh, centipedes, though it could. Damn, maybe we should swamp them immediately. Mm, no, no, that that will be for the next episode. For now, we have, what, 3.4 days left on both the quests and then we're free and clear. This series has taken way longer than I thought, probably because well, it's just so slow at this point, but it's okay. In the replays, I can always speed things up. Anyway, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed and good luck. Mm -hmm.